All right, so I have noticed that some of these shrimp look half Malawa, half Neocaridina, and I am noticing that there is actually uh, mounting and straddling going on here. I don't know if this is some sort of uh, territorial fighting type thing going on, or if they're really actually interbreeding. But what I wanted to show you was that this is a female with eggs ready to drop to the buried position. And a Neocaridina. Uh, on a Malawa Caridina. And if you take a look at some of my other shrimp. Let's take a look here with the water reflecting. I actually have one that's blue a malawa shrimp that has blue all around the edges which is interesting and i have all the shrimp this age about the size of that one compared to these bigger ones they all have blue including this pregnant one has a blue band by her eggs so we will find out soon hopefully whether the Malawa shrimp, Malawa shrimp, actually can interbreed uh, and hybridize with Neocaridinas. They normally carry this color. I mean, they have a range of colors, but um, you see the orange, you see the browns and reds, and this clear with the kind of galactic sparkly uh, bits on them and the dots like this. But then we also have these lower grade Caridina, Neo Caridina, I should say, that have spots and purpley eyes. Uh, there's just as many of these juveniles in here. See this with the very poor color quality compared to their parents. So here is what they should look like right there, uh, there, or back up in there, there's one. But I, as much as it says it's not possible, um, I'm starting to see, look at these lower grade blues. So that looks like a Neocaridina that has some Malawa uh, features on it, which is interesting. Those dots, the clarity, and uh, just kind of the uh, head and shoulder placement and shape. Check this out. The eyes being a bit bigger, bulgy, um, and having a pupil in the center, whereas the other, uh, these other guys have just a black dot, the Lucas Bretz ones. And you can see the patterning on their leg. It's just at the joints where they get the blue. I mean, they, they're translucent blue, but I've got this aperture cranked way up to show you guys the contrast. And you can actually make out the blue. You see that blue sheen in that one behind the Neocaridina? Compared to the normal, which is just, I mean, no, you would not call that blue. And again, here we go, looking at uh, a traditional mating position uh, placement going on so I don't know what's going on here and I would really love to hear anybody else's thoughts I have uh, at least half a dozen pregnant female Malawa shrimp here and we will see what happens so please like subscribe and uh, click that bell look at that two of them are trying to do it so I think this is a uh, a mating thing. These females are all carrying saddles and ready to drop the eggs into the buried position and uh, it's no accident that you're seeing both of these shrimp do this. So very very interesting uh, that we're watching this, we're witnessing this. And these ones are already I think half I, I believe these are half, and I don't know if they are viable, uh, if they're a viable Malawa or not. If I would assume that they are not, as most hybrids that 
that do that in the wild are not viable, but perhaps they are. I don't know. Maybe we're maybe we can expect a whole new line of shrimps, a new a new hybridized species. They are very similar. So pretty exciting stuff going on in this research tank so as i said please like subscribe i do need to get a couple more tanks i want to keep things set aside buy some new stock and if you want to help me with this project uh, you guys will get first dibs on the offspring that i have here as well as future offspring if you would like to uh, support me through patreon or super chats on the live chats or uh, even just uh, PayPal or um, if, if you're not into the Patreon thing, a lot of people aren't right now. So check this out. This, this is another one that has a very clear case of having blue all over uh, her shell. Very clear blue hues in the shell. So yeah, it's very interesting. I don't know what to make of it quite yet, but we'll see where this goes. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let me know what secrets you have in your aquarium, and I'll keep sharing mine. Take care of yourself, your critters, and uh, have a great night. I'll talk to you guys later.